I'm just like kind of nervous. So I'm looking at my exit like, all right, I know I could take them. Okay, I got some hands. going on you guys and welcome to a brand new video my name is Lana for those who don't know and if you are new welcome to the channel hopefully you like the video and you subscribe all right you guys y'all hear my phone dingus because we work it today right okay so I just finished my first order of the day it was $21 and some change going 2.4 miles it was extra large order but it was super easy um, I knew exactly where it was going to so I went ahead and took it and dropped it off and now I'm back at the store waiting for my second order but in today's video I thought I wanted to do a video on like what I wish I knew while starting spark the mistakes that I made um, learning along the way just everything like that so that I know so many of you guys that are starting spark you're about to start spark you're on the waiting list and so I want you guys to be able to hit the ground running when you do actually become active and so you don't make the same mistakes that I made so if you want to see all of the do's and don'ts of Walmart spark then keep on watching all right you guys so like I said I just did my first delivery of the day at about 8 is 8 um, 45 was the pickup so I went ahead it was two miles away $21 so it was pretty easy it was an extra large order but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary we're getting an order no okay all right so since I got this order on my screen let's talk about it Sam's Club orders I have a love-hate relationship with Sam's Club orders since the update with the app they do not tell you how many items you will be delivering that's a no-no for me because Sam's Club has big items and I need to know how many items I'm delivering if I'm gonna take it and a lot of the times the pay isn't great for Sam's Club um, they did allow you to for the customers to add tips now but still like look at this order one order 13.1 miles and its payout is $16.78, $13.80 being the delivery and $2.98 being the tip. Now, 13 miles, that's a lot of miles. Now, a lot of Sam's Clubs in my area at least are spread out. So a lot of the delivery locations are gonna be far out. 12, 13 miles, things like that. 13 miles is a lot for $16, that's not a lot of money. So I typically avoid Sam's Club orders for those two reasons. They don't tell you the item count, how many items the customer is getting, and then the miles to pay ratio is so low. And then the time isn't really in sync with Walmart orders. So for example, um, this order that I just had was scheduled to be picked up at 10 o'clock. Well, Walmart orders, you can pick it up at, you know, 45 past every hour. So by the time I would be getting done with that, I would have to wait a whole nother hour to get another order. So sometimes it just conflicts and it just doesn't make sense for me to take. So most of the time I tend to skip the Sam's Club orders altogether. Now you do have times here in between where I will gamble and I will take a Sam's Club order if it's like $40, $50 and, you know, it's a good payout. But like I said, you have to gamble because you don't know how many items you're going to get. That being said, let's go ahead to our second delivery. We have a quick one. It's at the Walmart, um, at another Walmart. I'm currently parked at one, so I have to go to the other Walmart. But it is $17 going three miles, and it's only two items. It's an apartment. It's like some rash cream or something like that. So I'll go ahead and take that $17 for three miles. So let's go ahead and drive over to the store and get it picked up. All right, tip number two what i wish i would have known is that you can check in early if your if your order is ready and it says ready on the screen you can check in early so let's go ahead and switch to my phone and i'm going to show you guys what you what you do to check in early all right so the first thing you want to do is make sure your order is ready as you can see right here it says ready so we know that's ready so we're going to go ahead and turn on airplane mode this is key to checking in early turn on airplane mode and then go ahead and slide to start the trip once you start the trip, you're going to confirm arrival. Now you want to switch back and turn off airplane mode. Give it a couple seconds to recognize and then you can enter your parking spot number. So I'm in parking spot one. I hit OK and it lets me check in. 
so we checked in a little bit earlier but hey y'all so this is our second order we're gonna go ahead hopefully they have it ready it's literally nobody out here and it's two items so it should be super quick and i will see you guys after this next drop off All right, you guys, <laughs> so I got a story for you, okay? So I just dropped off that super small order, right? It was a $10 tip on there, but I guess, I don't know. It was already a $10 tip, but she wanted to give me cash. But so I dropped it off and I knocked on the door and I came back to the car. So she opened the door, she said, hold on, wait a minute. I wanna give you um, I wanna give you a tip or whatever. So I said, okay. So she was like, come in. So I'm like, mm -hmm. typically I'm like, no, I'll wait right here. But she was like an older lady. Um, she seems sweet so I was like okay so I get in and she's like okay just wait right here I gotta go back and get the money so you know she's back there and I'm just like okay <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just like kind of nervous so I'm looking at my exit like alright got the door is unlocked so I'm gonna get my stance ready because anybody pop out because you know people crazy I don't know but um yeah so that was just a funny little story time because i'm like eh, i'd be leery when people say oh you go ahead and come in like if it's elderly people i'll do it because i know i could take them okay i got them hands but anybody else i'm like nah i'm gonna wait right here if you want to give me a tip you can bring it out like we ain't, we ain't doing that okay but yeah so needless to say i got my tip and um i'll see if that ten dollar tip is on there tomorrow uh, it might not be if it's not though I still got a $10 tip so this order can either be $27 or it can be $10 so it's kind of early but we're gonna see if we get another order or if we have to wait until 1020 it is 953 right now so I will update you guys in a little bit all right you guys we are back at it so I screenshot this I think we did we are back at it with another order we have a $24.48 order for 7.5 miles two deliveries and they're fairly small one is 12 items one is um eight items it looks like one might be an apartment but it's not bad so we are at the walmart now we checked in early so we're just waiting for them to bring out our packages y'all i don't know what's going on today but it's like nobody here and i know it's still early it's 10 30 but like i love it when it's nobody in the checkout in the pickup because i get my order super quick in and out so let's go ahead and wait for this order and then we'll go ahead and get it dropped off y'all all right you guys so tip number three that i have for you guys and this one will have a little asterisk because it can depend but do not i repeat do not take batch orders and the reason I say don't take batch orders is because normally it's about 10 to 15 drop-offs that you have to do. Um, and it normally takes you about an hour and a half to two hours to do all of them if you think about it. And they're high miles, so it's just a lot of things that it's just not worth it. And by the time you get done with that two hours for $30, maybe $40, you can literally do two orders and make that or a little bit more than that. So I tend to stay away from batch orders and the reason I say there's an asterisk on this point is because if you don't have that much time, like say you want to just work for an hour and a half, two hours, batch orders are probably perfect for you because you can go ahead, pick them all up, drop it off and be done and the payout typically is pretty good. You can get around a $30, $40 payout but again the miles will be high. So, but if you're just kind of trying to make money and, you know, get orders picked up and dropped off, don't take batch orders, y'all. It ain't worth it. We just finished a $16.03 order. I think it was going like five miles. Um, so that was super quick, super easy. We are sitting at about $88 for the day and it is a little bit before 12 o'clock. So that is pretty good. Um, I just got another order for, um, it's a shopping order. Uh, five items going 1.8 miles for $22 and some change. So I'm at the Walmart right now. We're going to go ahead and shop it. Should be very quick and very easy. So let's go ahead and shop it and get it dropped off. And another tip I have for you guys is to make sure you are tracking your miles. Whether you're doing it part time or if you need something to track your miles. Now it could be an app like Everlance or my personal favorite Stride 
or if you want to do the old-fashioned way you can always get out a piece of paper and jot down the mileage on your car on your odometer where you start at and where you end at um, but like I said it's super easy to just download the app and to turn it on and turn it off when you're done so that's what I love to do all the time the reason you want to track your miles is because it helps come tax time you can get deductions for all of that stuff and even little things like um you know you use your cell phone so part of that can be deducted while you're working um any accessories that you use like hot bags or car mounts or anything like that that you use for work that can also be deducted so you want to make sure you take very detailed notes you keep receipts of all of that stuff so come tax time you can get a bigger deduction and I also have a video where I show you guys about the app Stride. I'll go ahead and link it in the iCards above. But it just helps for you to know how much you need to set aside after you get paid each time because you do have to set aside money so that you can pay it during tax time. So it's just kind of a no-brainer way to know that you're staying on track and doing what you need to do. All right, and one of the last pieces of advice that I have for you guys today is to make sure you go ahead and, and try to accept as many round robin orders as you can. They'll send them out. Those are the not the first come first serve orders, but the round robin is the one where it says you have one new offer to accept. Try to accept those. That way, it boosts your acceptance rate up um, and helps you to get more offers. Um, when I first started, I was kind of declining, declining, declining and yeah and also along with that you gotta know when to take an order and when not to take an order know your do's and don'ts what you want to do and what you don't want to do and if you don't want to accept it the good thing about spark is you don't have to accept it some of your rules might be you don't accept a, you don't want to deliver to apartments you might not want to deliver items over like 50 items you might not want to go to a certain part of town. Um, just know what your rules are and set them. And once you know those things, then you'll be good to go. And last but not least, know your market. Know which stores are slow, which stores are fast when it comes to curbside orders. Know um, what stores are typically more busy. So I just had a slow time where literally I was waiting for probably about two hours for an order. Um, I kind of moved around and nothing was really biting. So I could have drove further out about 30 minutes, but I didn't want to do that. Cause I'm tired y'all, it's already 3.30 and I'm just gonna call it today. I want to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I worked for about 8.45 until two and my total was about $110 and some change, which isn't too bad. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, guys. So hopefully this video and these tips were good for you. You found it informational and it'll help you along as you do this spark journey. As always, guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. Make sure to like this video and make sure to turn the bell button on so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.